This is Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. Good Friday evening. I'm Thomas Fleming. Thank you for joining us tonight. Despite the last minute confusion throughout upstate regions, the Mohawk Valley is now in phase two of reopening. Yesterday afternoon, Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacinti stated that the region was ready for phase two because it met all the criteria. But last night, Pacinti held another quickly called press conference, stating the governor said we could not go into phase two because he wanted experts to assess the Mohawk Valley region. But today, the five eligible upstate regions did receive the go ahead at 1 p.m. Our Shalon Stevens joins us live in the studio. Shalon, from what we saw last night, the county executive seemed completely blindsided by the news of this expert panel. That's right, Thomas. Pacenti expressed his frustration because it was the 11th hour and businesses who fell into phase two were expecting to reopen today. But because of the misguided information, the county executive did say he was not going to stop those businesses from reopening anyway. It's an insult to every business in this community that have been struggling. It's a lack of respect for the business community. Pacenti said he was outraged by the lack of communication from Governor Cuomo and that just a few hours before reopening, he changed how the data would be analyzed. In all of the last two weeks, not once were we told that anybody other than this control group was going to look at that data. Last night, it was told by the governor that experts would look at the data. All of a sudden now, these two doctors are going to look at our data that based on the criteria established by the governor and have said now that we can't enter phase two. Pacinti said we met our numbers and based on what they showed is why he was confident in proceeding into phase two. He established the criteria. We met the criteria. Our numbers are good. You know why I know our numbers are good? Because we keep the numbers for the entire region. I said that earlier today. We keep all of the data for all of our counties. Earlier this afternoon, Governor Cuomo stated during his briefing that it was after speaking with those experts that phase two businesses in these regions can now reopen. Reporting live in the studio, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News. Shalon, thank you. As we start phase two, there are 28 positive cases in the county, new cases, seven are nursing home related. That brings a total of 979. There are no new fatalities. That number remains at 46. There are 365 active cases and 569 cases have been resolved. The county executive expressed his approval today of the governor sticking with his original decision, allowing that beginning of phase two. However, he says the communication needs to be better. Pacenti spoke with the governor, uh, spoke with the governor's budget director about having a communication can, uh, plan in place and businesses who are scheduled to open in the next phase should have all the criteria they need in regard to reopening well in advance, not the night before. Pacenti says things are different upstate and the state has to communicate with them so that they can understand what is going on. They have a great opportunity, let me say, as we head into phase three to correct this, to, to really make it so that we can have really fruitful discussions about the next phase and about how that, uh, how that can be uh, put into place without what we went through yesterday or even the days before. And, you know, we've always said we want to help with this. And we have, you know, being on the, you know, our, we're closest to the people here. Pacenti says we must continue to do the things this community has been doing because that's what got us to phase two and that will help us get to phase three.